What's up guys? With Venom 2 on the horizon, I want to take a minute to discuss Carnage and who exactly he is. So as we know from the first movie in the end credit scene, Eddie Brock goes to visit a serial killer named Cletus Cassidy in prison. He does a little editorial piece on him. But do we know who Cletus Cassidy is? Well, if you're a true fan of Marvel Comics, then yes, you do. Cletus Cassidy was a serial killer around the New York area. Uh, he finally got captured and then he shared a cell with Eddie Brock when Eddie Brock had his time in prison. Um, and one day, the Venom symbiote found Brock and freed him from the prison, but not before replicating and making an offspring, which was the red symbiote, the Carnage suit. Venom refers to himself as we because it's Eddie Brock and the symbiote separately. Carnage refers to himself as I because Cassidy and the suit are so well uh, integrated that he just speaks of himself as one entity. So it's kind of scary when you think of it that way. Now, how this can translate to film, it's yet to be seen. But hopefully they do a really good job. Now, Venom really only threw webs and that sort of thing and swung around, whereas Carnage can shapeshift and contort his arms into various, like, objects and hurl spikes and stuff like that. Much like the Riot suit from the first movie, it's pretty much a red riot. But the difference is he's a lot more sadistic and crazy. And a lot of the time, it took Venom and Spider-Man to beat him. But now, will we get Tom Holland as Spider-Man in this Venom sequel? That's another question mark. We know the fuckery that went on with Sony and Marvel uh, regarding Spider-Man, and we know that Tom Holland will not return to the MCU, but Tom Holland will be Spider-Man for the next few Sony movies. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's any updates on this, I'll be sure to comment on that, and I'll have another video going for you. Alright, y'all. See you later.